Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Wild Finds, where I mostly search thrift stores for media items. But for now, let's go in this pawn shop right here. They have Blu-rays two for three dollars. These are PS4 games, but yeah, Blu-rays two for three dollars. Uh, good deal there. DVDs three for one dollar. Quite the coincidence they have this one right here. Okay, so pretty picked over in there, but did manage to grab these for one dollar. Black Hawk Down, I've been meaning to watch that, and I've never heard of this one, Texas Adios, uh, spaghetti western movie starring Frank Nero. Looks pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty neat. We got Super Thrift, and right next door is Goodwill. That way you can get two birds stoned at the same time. No, wait, that's not the expression. You can kill two birds with one. Wait, that's even weirder. Why do you want to kill birds? Let's just go to both of these. Did I pass? Did I pass these? Nice big store here. So, okay, awesome. They have the Sopranos complete series for only $6.99. That's a great deal. I was in the Goodwill about a month back and they had a Korean bootleg that was the first five seasons so you didn't even get the last season and they wanted $40 for it so this is much better. I've seen most episodes of The Sopranos but not every single one so I do want to go through these so definitely grabbing this one and they had some other pretty cool ones as well. That's a good price for that one but I have all these movies separately already and they have Hondo that's Al Bundy's favorite film. So nice little deal there in that store. As expected, I didn't find anything at the Goodwill. Now here at the Goodwill outlet store, the only Goodwill worth a darn. So not too much today. I did find a Leisure Suit Larry brand new sealed five game collection. These used to uh, intrigue me as a kid. I did play them years later and they're kind of too antiquated for my taste. I don't like adventure games where you die all the time and you could do something early in the game and then find out two hours later because you did a certain thing, you soft lock yourself and you can't continue and it's basically game over. Uh, so games like Monkey Island where there's no game overs I feel are way better but still really cool item right there. Then also got the Crocodile Hunter brand new. So at the next spot here, the only DVD I found was John Cena Experience, still brand new and sealed. Pretty cool, but what's very cool, they have a whole bin of spatulas. I could open my own spatula city, heck yeah. Found a couple $1 t-shirts here, Boneyard Burial, Return of the Dead Man, Undertaker, WWE t-shirt, and Chucky from Child's Play. This t-shirt here has some great life advice. Okay, different day, same thrift store. I found these three right here, rose red. I'm always finding rose red. Gotta grab it. It goes for maybe eight bucks at this point. It used to be worth like 20 at one point. My name is Bruce. I've never seen this, but surprisingly, I've read the book called My Name is Bruce. And this is a movie, not based on the book. The book is an autobiography. Uh, yeah, and this looks like it could be pretty cool. And this looks really cool, Electric Boogaloo, the untold story of Canon Films. Nice. This is kind of strange, you know the chips? Well, here's the hat. Okay, so those have been some of my recent thrift store finds. I did acquire a huge collection of mostly Blu-rays, and I'll go over these in just one second before we get to that. I want to talk more about thrift store hunting because it can be hard. Most of the times when I go out, I don't find anything. And when that happens, I don't use that footage. But I had a day that was so epically bad, I want to share some of it. What happened was I wanted to go to Clearwater, Florida, which is like two and a half hours from where I live. And I was gonna make a whole video about it. And that's where Hulk Hogan lives. So it's kind of gonna jokingly like talk about how I'm gonna meet Hulk Hogan and we're gonna become best friends. But then like, I didn't find anything at any of the thrift stores, so it didn't really work out very well. I even went to Bush Gardens just so I could film one thing. Okay, before I go see my best friend Hulk Hogan, I had to stop by Bush Gardens here and ride the Falcon's Fury. What? 
<laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And yeah, so going all the way to Clearwater, didn't find anything, finally got to Clearwater. Hulk Hogan, here we come. I didn't think Hulk Hogan would be at the Hulk Hogan beach shop that he owns. I assume he's in there stocking shelves as we speak, so this should be cool to see him. I did hear a guy works there named Ron Howard, no relation to the Happy Days guy, but I thought some comedy could come from that. I heard he's really into conspiracy theories, so I kind of just wanted to talk to him. But nope, he wasn't there. Very anticlimactic. And then I went to an auction house in Clearwater, and I was really, really excited. Okay, just what I like to see right as I walk in CDs. Metallica box set there. DVD sets. Metallica and Justice for All tour book. That's awesome. So it seems these DVDs are per stack. And maybe I'll buy some. There's none that are jumping out as being incredibly rare or valuable or that I need. Okay, this right here is amazing. Metal cassettes. Heck yeah. And even more cassettes over here. Oh my god, so cool. Yeah. I found these cassette tapes and they were loaded with metal cassettes. Really good artists too, so yeah, I wanted those really, really badly. But they went for so much money. Why are they clapping? He way overpaid. The auction was just for one case of cassettes and you got to pick which one you want or you could buy both. And it went for $250 plus fees plus taxes. And the guy bought both. So that means he spent $500 plus fees and taxes, which is close to $600. That's way too much to spend on cassettes. If they went for like $100 each, I would have grabbed them. But that's just way too much money to spend. I did win one thing at auction though. I got this tray of DVDs. And this was like $17. So I think this is a much better investment. Uh, all these DVDs for 17 bucks than a whole bunch of cassettes for almost 600 And the big one right here, if you've watched my channel, you know I've been looking for this. I found a brand new one a few months back. Well, here's the used one, which I'll gladly watch. Captain N, the Game Master. What Nintendo, obviously, in case you don't know. Another Nintendo one, Legend of Zelda. And I've watched this on YouTube before. It's funny, the whole time Link is trying to get a kiss from Zelda. He's a little bit too aggressive. He needs to tone it down a bit. But I do think he deserves a little smooch. He does save Hyrule over and over and over. At one point, he does get a smooch, but it's Ganon disguised as Zelda. So that doesn't count. And yeah, the series ends and he gets zero action, poor guy. And there's also uh, some like Sailor Moon ones, and uh, I want to watch these. I don't know what these will be like really, but it's such a classic. I want to at least say I've seen some of them. And some other anime ones here, Digimon. We got these Avatar, The Last Airbender uh, volumes. And 
This one looks like it might be a bootleg. And that one right there, nice. And a CD soundtrack. I'm pretty sure this is a Game Boy Advance game. And then they re-released it for other systems. Okay, and now let's talk about the collection I acquired. In my last thrifting video, I got a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays from a guy. Well, he had more and he decided he wants to get rid of these two. And I got a very good price on these. And I'm super happy about some of these, like uh, Stripe Steelbook. We got Ice Cream Man, Jack Frost 2, and Killer Tongue Triple Pack. I don't really uh, know much about these ones, but I do want Ice Cream Man in my collection. So very happy about that one. Not sure how to pronounce this one, but it's a new and sealed Xbox 360 game. Looks like an action RPG. Driven, brand new, I know that uh, is kind of hard to find out of print. Coraline, everything everywhere all at once. 4K Dungeons and Dragons, for whatever reason, uh, that's hard to find. Dementia 13, Vestron Video, pretty cool. This Natural Born Killers. Now what's cool is it's like a book. Nice. And now this one, Bloody Knuckles, I've never heard of this before. Uh, looks, uh, you know, like it could be entertaining. I was surprised to find this one, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, brand new steelbook. 1941, Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. Now here we have a Sling Blade DVD, which is rare and out of print, and also a Sling Blade Blu-ray, so that's really cool. And here we have Jackie Chan, The Legend of Drunken Master, which is the second Drunken Master movie. And this is fantastic if you've never seen it before. And this is, for whatever reason, very hard to find and pretty valuable on Blu-ray. So, heck yeah on that one. Bram Stoker's Dracula 4K. Dumb and Dumber 2. Not a great movie, but I do feel this is slightly underrated. It's better than Dumb and Dumber, I would say, at least. And it has some uh, okay jokes. These ones right here, Sphere, that's kind of hard to find. And I've read the book, good book and good movie. And Super Cop, another very good Jackie Chan movie right there. We got more, Class of Newcomb High, Alfred Hitchcock movie screams. This looks like a Korean bootleg, but kind of cool cover there. Happy Days. Well, they weren't all Happy Days. Like the time Pinky Tuscadero crashed her motorcycle. Oh, the time I lost all my money to those card sharks and my dad, Tom Bosley, had to get it back. Wait a minute, I'm confusing my memory with a memory that Homer Simpson had. Excuse me there. So yes, Happy Days, and it has the Cracker Barrel sticker. Kind of funny, you could buy this in the Cracker Barrel gift shop. And yeah, we got The Land Before Time, some Hanna-Barbera cartoons right there, Darkwing Duck. We got the Silent Night, Deadly Night, Blu-ray right there, nice upgrade. We got Grown Ups, I don't think that's gonna be great, but I do wanna check it out. It takes place at a water park called Water Whiz in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, which I've been to before, quite a few times actually. So I kinda uh, wanna see what that's like. I've never seen Shutter Island, so I do wanna see that. Did I show these off? Scott Pilgrim, Steelbook, Bill and Ted Face the Music. This was just okay. I know some people think it's really good, I disagree with that. And some people hate it, and I don't think it's that bad. We've got the American Psycho with a slipcover. The Mist with a slipcover. Saturday Night's main event. This Bon Jovi one. I find this one all the time, Godzilla vs. Biolante. I guess that's how you uh, pronounce it there. And it's worth quite a bit, so it's surprising I find it so often. Under it we have the Tenacious D Pick of Destiny sneak preview from Circuit City. Uh, kind of cool right there. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Heavy Metal 2000. I think this is kind of underrated. Uh, pretty cool movie right there. We got some more Steelbooks. Jurassic World. Hancock. We got some 4Ks right there. We got some UFC and wrestling ones. Uh, we got a Back to the Future trilogy upgrade. Rocky series upgrade. Taken 1, 2, and 3. I want to watch those. All these ones are horror ones that I don't really need. I'll lot these together and try to sell them. Same with these right here. We got some James Bond. I will keep these for myself, all these Quentin Tarantino ones. So I don't need to own everything on Blu-ray. I'm fine with the DVDs most of the time. But since Quentin is my favorite director, I do want to upgrade his movies. Uh, yeah, so that's a nice little start right there. We got a Stephen King lot of DVDs right there. We got some uh, Kevin Smith ones, Mallrats, Blu-ray, Dogma DVD, Yoga Hosers. I refuse to watch that. I'll never watch that because it just looks so dumb. But yeah, there they are right there. Some sets right there. 
got some more back here and back here and yeah very happy with this pickup i do appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed yourself like and subscribe and i'll see you next time around i almost forgot i also got these empty pokemon cases and the games aren't included but you would be surprised how much some of these just empty cases can sell for so yeah really cool that these were included and also got these toys right here a power rangers figure sonic some scooby-doo ones a bunch of batman figures and this one right here seems to be the rarest one a team fortress 2 figure okay one last thing before i go to bye bye town and i thank you again for watching my computer show you might remember a while back i got this uh, married with children complete series set at a thrift store for one dollar but for whatever reason it had two disc fours and no disc five someone had told me if you contact mill creek they'll send you a replacement and i did i emailed them and they sent me the replacement and it came in this big fedex box right here and then inside the fedex box was this huge envelope complete like waste of material right there and inside the huge envelope was a dvd case with the replacement dvd so yeah really cool that they did that but they could have just shipped this media mail in a poly bag instead of using a fedex box and this huge bubble mailer but i ain't complaining okay see you next time around